Hey, this is Eric with Web App Reviews, where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Now, normally we do reviews, but in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a really special tool that's going to help you with your web apps and extensions called Chrome Sync. Now, throughout the day, most of us work on more than one computer. You might have a laptop at work and a desktop at home. Or maybe you're a teacher and you move between different classrooms throughout the day. Or perhaps you're a student and you use a different computer every time you sit down in a lab or open up a Chromebook. Now, although your computer may change all day long, wouldn't it be great if your computer experience didn't change? Well, with Google Chrome Sync, that's exactly what you can do. All you have to do is sign into your Chrome browser and turn on Chrome Sync. Now, all of your apps and extensions and bookmarks and settings will all get automatically backed up into the cloud. Then, whenever you sign into Chrome on a different computer, your apps and extensions and bookmarks and settings will now all sync down to that computer as well. Let's take a look at how this works. All right, so here I am inside of my Chrome web browser, and you'll see that I've got some apps installed, and you can see I've got some extensions installed up in the top right-hand corner. You'll see those up there. And you can see that I've got uh, some bookmarks added in there as well. All right, fantastic. Now, I'm not signed into Chrome yet, so none of this is syncing. If I go to a different computer, I'm not going to have any of these bookmarks or extensions or apps on that other computer. So in the top right-hand corner, there's a spot where it says Not Signed Into Chrome and a link that lets me sign in. Now, it's important to realize this is different than signing into, let's say, your Gmail. For example, if I open up my Gmail tab, you'll see I am actually signed into Gmail with a demo account. And there's my Google Drive. I'm, I'm signed into my Google account. That's different than signing into the browser itself. So that is something that we have to do. Um, now, I certainly can in the top right-hand corner just click on the Sign In link. Or if you click on the Settings button up here, there's another Sign Into Chrome option there. Or if I click Settings in that drop-down menu, I get another Sign Into Chrome button up here. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that button. I'll give a click on Sign Into Chrome. And what I need to do now is give a, an email address and password for the account that I want to use for this syncing. So let's go ahead and I'll put in my um, demo email address here. And I'll put in the password and we'll sign in. Now, when you first sign in, by default, it'll automatically sync everything unless you tell it otherwise. So you can just click that button. Or if you're curious about just what everything is, and if you want to tweak that a little bit, there is an advanced link. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll see it shows all of the different things that are getting synced, such as apps, extensions, settings, the autofill, the Omnibox history, that's your search bar at the top of Chrome, themes, bookmarks, passwords, open tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK and just accept all of that. And so now that information is being synced up to the cloud. Of course, I could come back at any point and I could click on disconnect your Google account so that this browser would no longer be getting synced. Um, and I could go in and click Advanced Sync Settings if I wanted to change uh, some of those, turn some on or turn some off. Well, supposedly, though, everything is now syncing up to the cloud. So if I went to a different computer and opened up Chrome and I signed in with that account, I should get my bookmarks and my apps and my extensions. So let's try that out. So let me pull this up. This is now actually a totally different computer. I've done a remote connection to a computer miles and miles away from here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and log in using, again, the uh, Sign Into Chrome option with that same account. And fingers crossed, we should see everything sync down. So let's try that out. I'll put in the email address. And we'll put in the password. And we'll click Sign In. And now there we go. And you'll notice right away some things sync really fast. Some things take a little bit longer. It's now going ahead and doing some of my extensions there. But you'll see we're getting uh, my bookmarks across the top. 
uh, my apps are showing up here and it looks like we're starting to get some extensions. Yep, there we go. The extensions are starting to install along the top as well. And so that is the beauty of Chrome Sync. With Google Chrome Sync, you can move from computer to computer to computer and you never miss a beat. And you don't have to worry about losing an important bookmark or maybe a helpful web app or extension that you love to use. Now, to learn more about the best web apps and extensions so that you can sync those, um, be sure to visit our website at www.webappreviews.org where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Thanks so much for watching the video. Thank you.